Support School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Aaron Stevanis, Market Development Agronomist with Pride Seeds, and I'm here today to talk uh, just a little bit about corn tillering. I've got a lot of questions uh, about corn tillering this year. There seems to be a lot out in the field, and, and you know, why, why does it happen? What is it, what is it all about? So we're here uh, in Elmira at our Precision Ag Plot, so we're at the, the headland here, and obviously we're getting a lot of sunlight, where there's a lot of room, so I'm standing beside two corn plants here that you can see have both have two major tillers. They almost look like corn plants. They're coming right out of the ground and, uh, and almost look like uh, younger, younger corn plants that didn't germinate late, but they are, they are actually tillers. So why does this happen? Well, usually I attribute it to, it's a good thing. That usually means your yield environment is really good. That corn plant wants to grow. It's a grass, so it's throwing out more tillers, possibly more cobs. At the end of the day, yes, you only want one cob. That's your major yield and it's gonna come off of here. No, most of the time, almost every time, these don't amount to anything. But it's a cool little visualization because, like I said, we're at the front and actually in this precision ag plot, this front part is only at 28,000 uh, 28, plant population. You're seeing a lot of tillering. Usually it's a good indication of that variety um, is at too low of a population. You probably could have upped the population just a little bit. And why do I say that is because it's actually, like I said, it's throwing out those extra, those leaves, it's trying to make more corn and it actually could handle a denser, denser environment. Um, and it's actually interesting if you want to go out, if you have your own plot and uh, depending what population is, you can go out and very easily visually see um, some will tiller more than others. And once again, it's just that it's taking advantage of that extra nutrient, the yield environment that it's in and, and making those off. Now in a drought year like this, You'll probably start to see these start, we are fairly dry here in Elmira and I'm surprised these haven't started to die off yet, but you'll actually start to see these die off, cannibalize themselves, and all the energy go back into the main stock. So at the end of the day, is it gonna take any yield out of your corn? Absolutely not. Maybe give yourself a pat on the back that you did an excellent job on fertility, a good yield environment, and, uh, and if it does get dry like it is, like I said, those will cannibalize, move into the main stock, and, uh, and put energy towards making that cob.